In this video, I'm going to compare Rike versus Asana versus Monday.com. So in this video, I'm going to compare these three project management software tools so that you can get an understanding of how they work and which will be the best one for you. So if you're interested in project management, keep watching. All right, let's get started right away. So like I said in the intro, I'm going to show you Rike, Asana and Monday. So I'm going to compare all of them, including pricing, features and the layouts. All right, so for Rike, you do have a free plan available. So if you go to pricing, you'll see plans show up right here and you'll see the free plan. So with the free plan, you can get up to five users and it's a simple shared task list for small teams. So if you have a small team, you can definitely use this. Now, if you scroll down even further, you also see what the free plan includes. So it comes with a board view, task management, file sharing, real-time activity stream, spreadsheet uh, view, basic integrations, desktop and mobile apps, and then cloud storage. You can see there's a huge difference between the business and enterprise plans and the free plan, which makes sense of course, but there's a significant difference in the two because with these plans, you get way more and probably the best um, features that are available on Rike itself. So the free plan isn't great, but they do have one available. For, for Asana, we'll also go to pricing. So the basic plan is also available on Asana. So this is for individuals or teams just getting started with project management. And you'll see unlimited tasks, unlimited projects. So all of this is unlimited, which is great. You can collaborate with up to 15 teammates. So if you compare that to uh, Rike, they only have five users, but on Asana, you can do this with up to 15. So that's a huge difference. And apart from that, on here, they also have the calendar and the board view available. And on Rike, they don't have the calendar, if I'm correct. Calendars are only included on the paid plans. So that's a big difference as well. And then if we go to Monday, we'll also go to pricing. And then you'll see that on here, you won't see any free plan, but right there it is. So the basic plan, you can try that for free, but is it actually free? As of right now, I'm pretty sure that there's no free, like actual free plan available on here. You can see that, is there a free version? If you would like to access, you can go through, yeah, all right. So as of right now, I'm pretty sure that there's no free plan available. So that's a big difference in the two of them because on here, you can get a free plan and on Rike as well. So as of right now, if you're not looking to pay, I would say that Asana would be the best option since they've got a free plan available with the calendar view and all of the other basic features and also with 15 teammates compared to Rike, only five and no calendar view available. But for now, let's actually sign in to all of the platforms and let's show you what it looks like. All right, so what I would like to do right now is show you the different features that are available and the different layouts of these platforms so you can find out which one you would like to go with. So this is Rike. So on Rike, we've got the personal space. One thing I do wanna show you is that these features on here are not available with the free plan. So that's one downside, like I said earlier, the free plan of this isn't great. But what you can do is set up different spaces. So I'm gonna set up a workspace. You can make it private or you can make it public and you can add members to that as well. Like I said, with the free plan, it's up to five on this specific platform. So on there, you can add emails. I'm not gonna do that for now since this is just a test account, but I just set up a workspace. What I can then do is set up different projects. So XYZ project. Then what I can do next is add dates and then a finish date. So maybe this project will go on for a week. What I can then do is choose the default view. We've got lists, we've got boards, and we've got tables. So yeah, that's interesting. But what you can do is decide which one, which one you would like to go with. And then for now, I'm going to keep it private. But if you're working with a team, you're going to go with uh, share it with my team. Next up, click on create, and that's where you can create your workspace. So this is what that looks like on Rike. What you can then do is enter, I mean, pretty much I'll come up with new tasks, right? So create Rike video, which is what I'm doing right now. So once you've got that done, or this is pretty much why you would list all of your tasks, then once you're working on it, you would slide it over here. Once completed, you would slide it over here on hold, you would slide that over there. So that's pretty much how you can do your project management. All your team members will then be able to see all of it so that they and you know what's going on in your business or in your projects. 
and it's similar on Asana. So this is what Asana looks like. This is the home page. Right there you can see your own tasks. So these are my tasks which I have to do, for example. Then right there on the home page, however, you will see uh, tasks due soon. I really like that about Asana, but you also see your recent projects. So this is what it looks like on Asana. Once again, I'm using a board, but you can also go with a list, a timeline, a calendar, a dashboard, progress, and more. So yeah, like I said, I always use boards. So this is really similar. You can create a to-do list and you can then slide that over on working on it and then done. So yeah, guys, you can see that most of this is pretty similar. So on here, you can set this up and this is what I wanted to show you. On Monday, you can pretty much go through this uh, process. They will ask you some questions, um, fill in your information and they'll then send you over to your brand new account. And I'll show you what that looks like right now, which is why I created a brand new account for Monday so that I can show you. They'll pretty much walk you through step by step how you can uh, set up a board, set up a project, and then invite your team members. So this is where you can invite your team. I'll click, I'll do that later. And then this is what I really, really like. They've got a template center. So they've got recommended. You can build your own as well. But if you go to project management, you'll then see all of these templates that you can use, which is pretty cool. So if you go project management, you can review it. Uh, I mean review preview it by clicking right there and if you like it you click use template in the top right corner and it will then create it and it will set up the automations so that it's easy to work with so this is, it, this is a great feature that I like about Monday um, so you can see guys when you compare all of these and I'll show you the the boards what they look like on Monday when this is done but they're actually really similar the only differences in our how much money you're, you're willing to spend and which layout you like the best. So some people might lay, uh, might like the layout from Rike and they find this very easy to work with. Some might, uh, might find this one the best one and then some of you might find Monday.com the best one. Um, but it really depends, in my opinion, on your personal preference and how much money you're willing to spend. If you're gonna go with the free plans, then like I said, I would go with Asana. If you're gonna spend money, then you're gonna compare these plans and honestly, there's not that much difference. It really depends on what kind of projects you have and then also um, like pretty much your personal preference in terms of layouts and that's my opinion. But this is what Monday looks like. So this is your workspace, this is your board. As you can see, this is a project and then right there you can see the task that needs to be done. This is where you can add team members so that they know they need to do this the status so you can make sure that you know you can see what's going on with that specific task so maybe I'm gonna do this next then I'll add up next timeline you can set dates so you can set the due dates the actual date and then you can swipe I mean not swipe kind of like slide so you can see that Monday has some more features some more lists on here but you can also set this up set that up yourself on uh, Asana by simply clicking on add section and then you can add the pricing for example and the same for Rike. But yeah, that's pretty much my opinion, my comparison about Rike, Asana and Monday. In my opinion, if you're going with a free plan, go with Asana. If not, it really doesn't matter that much and you just wanna see what kind of projects you wanna run and uh, pretty much base it on that. And also your personal preference in terms of the workflows and layouts. But yeah, if, you, if this simple video helps you out, I would appreciate it so much if you can leave a like on the video. That would help uh, reach this video to more people. So yeah, I would appreciate that. Leave a comment, let me know if it works, if you enjoyed, and then I'll see you next time.